Hello everyone, once again, my name is Dawson Dis. Today we're going to be doing another SCP reading on SCP-1111, The White Dog. So let's get started. Item number SCP-1111, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. A, restric a restricted zone has been established in a 2 kilometer radius around SCP-1111-2. A public statement was released declaring it to be a weather monitoring station. Cameras are suspended from weather balloons, constantly monitoring, monitoring the enclosure. Individuals may not come within one kilometer of SCP-1111-2 without explicit written permission from a level 4 researcher or higher. SCP-1111-1, move away from SCP-1111-2. All personnel are to evacuate the restricted zone until SCP-1111-1 returns to its position beneath SCP-1111-2. Description. SCP-1111-1 is an entity with an appearance similar to that of Canis Familiaris, commonly known as the Domestic Dog. The size of SCP-1111-1 varies with its distance from SCP-1111-2. Directly beneath it, SCP-1111-1 is approximately 150 centimeters from ground to shoulders. The exact breed of SCP-1111-1 is unclear. It appears to be a mix with traits of both a Labrador Retriever and a German Shepherd clearly visible. SCP-1111-1 possesses a white coat and red eyes both of which glow at lumosities directly proportional to its proximity to SCP-1111-2. A distance is greater than 500 meters from SCP-1111-2, SCP-1111-1 gradually becomes translucent. Additionally, SCP-1111-1's speed, strength, and agility all seem to be inversely proportional to its distance from SCP-1111-2. A dog tag is affixed to a faded red collar around SCP-1111-1's neck. The tag reads, Loyal. Left alone, SCP-1111-1 lies down beneath SCP-1111-2. It does not appear to sleep, or if it does, it is able to do so with its eyes completely open. It does not drink, eat, or breathe. Should SCP-1111-1 become aware of any person or object coming near SCP-1111-2, it will quickly become hostile and attempt to destroy the intruder. SCP-1111-1 has significantly increased physical abilities above a standard canine. Video records show it running at speeds in excess of 60 kilometers an hour, jumping 6 meters into the air, and biting through 15 millimeters of titanium plating. SCP-1111-1 appears to be incorporeal, and as such attempts to both neutralize it and examine SCP-1111-2 more closely have been met with failure. See Incident Log 1111-B for details. SCP-1111-2 has the appearance of a man hanged by a noose from a tree. The subject wears a faded business suit and dress shoes. Both are too worn to properly identify the manufacturer. SCP-1111-2 constantly jerks and twitches in a manner consistent with those of a man being hanged. Occasionally, gaps, gas for breath can also be heard. The violence and energy of these jerks is directly proportional to SCP-1111-1's proximity to SCP-1111-2. As the distance between the two increases, the jerks and twitches decrease in violence and frequency. Incident Log 1111-B Date, May 2nd, 19 blank. A team of blank agents were sent to attempt to neutralize SCP-1111-1 for transportation to a containment facility. The team approached SCP-1111-2 from the north, opposite the direction of SCP-1111-1 was facing. The agents were able to come within 300 meters of SCP-1111-2, at which point SCP-1111-1 arose and attacked agents without warning. Agent Blank, realizing that the mission had failed, began to flee the area. SCP-1111-1 pursued but decreased in size, definition, and speed as it grew further and further away from SCP-1111-2. When SCP-1111-1 reached a distance of 900 meters from SCP-1111-2, SCP-1111-2 was observed to stop moving entirely. At this point, SCP-1111-1 froze for a moment and turned it he its head towards SCP-1111-2. SCP-1111-1 stayed in this position for a few seconds before howling once and sprinting back towards SCP-1111-2. SCP-1111-2 was observed to resume its jerking and twitching. 
Video records of the incident indicate that rounds fired at SCP-1111-1 passed through without making contact, despite the fact that its teeth and claws proved solid when attacking agents. Agent Blank was the only one to survive the incident. O5 blank. From this point forward, only D class and remote can operated drones may be used to approach SCP 1111 1 directly. Date May 20th, 19 blank. Blank D class armed with data expunged or sent to approach SCP 1111 2 from various directions. This new proved similar to previous attempt, SCP 1111 1 to proceed to kill all D class present. During the incident, D-83011 was able to come within 50 meters of SCP-1111-2 before being killed. During this time, cameras noted an anomaly within SCP-1111-2. Its jerk slowed and its eyes opened and fixed on D-83011. SCP-1111-2's arms then raised towards, SC towards D-83011, what appeared to be to observers as a welcoming embrace. Moments before D-83011 was killed by SCP-1111-1, SCP-1111-2's lips can be seen moving, mouthing what appeared to be the words, No, a down boy. Immediately after the death of, S of D-83011, SCP-1111-2 fell limp and resumed normal twitching. O5 blank. It appears as though simply isolating SCP 1111 2 was not enough to effectively contain SCP 1111 1. As such, all further testing is suspended, barring a significant development until further notice. So, SCP 1111 is one of those other SCPs where it's two actually SCPs designated as one and two, and uh, um, so 1111-1 is this is this dog that is almost sort of protecting the other one 1111-2, which is this man hung by a noose on a tree. Um, I'm not sure what the heck this thing is, honestly. Um, 11, the dog could be protecting the guy or something, or because maybe he's not protecting it. Maybe he, the dog, is trying to prevent anyone from getting too close to the guy who's being hung. And, um, possibly maybe it's sort of like preventing anyone from trying to get to, um, the man that's being hung. I'm not sure why, um... Of course, that's up to you guys to decide. What do you think? Why do you think that the dog is trying to protect or trying to prevent anyone from getting to SCP-1111-2, this guy? Uh, leave a comment down in the comment section uh, below on what you think. Why do you think that this dog is trying to protect this guy who's being hung by a noose? So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Check out anything else that I've done. Uh, please leave any suggestions on any SCP you want me to do. And I'll see all of you next time in the next video of whatever I'm doing. So, goodbye everyone.